All right, this is a vitamin water tasting stream. Uh, I'm streaming this because I've been asked to do vitamin waters a bunch, but I don't think people realize just how few vitamin water flavors there are. There's only like seven. And then when I tried looking for them, I could only get like two of them was like zero sugar. So uh, you're gonna get a stream instead. Um, but I'll have technically done it. I have like six of them, which is, I feel like not gonna be long enough for a video, but we'll do a Q&A after this as well. Um, why don't we start in, um, what kind of, well, I was gonna say rainbow order, but it's not even like interesting enough colors. We'll do the zero sugar stuff laced, last, laced. Um, okay. First step, we got power C. Uh, dragon fruit flavored. I don't know what dragon fruit is, plus other natural flavors. Um, we put so much vitamin C in this bottle, we can legally say it's an excellent source. So now you don't have to get your vitamins from just an okay source that probably hangs out in shady places where no one has dragon in their name. How fun. Okay. Now, I like vitamin water. Uh, I used to get these a lot in high school. Um, let's see, it's 200% vitamin C for the whole bottle. The taste is like... How do I describe this? Almost like strawberry-ish, like a strawberry, like, just a nice, pleasantly sweet drink. Um, I actually really like it. Um, I have no problems with this. I'm going to say in terms of the, what I've had, I would be very happy with this. Let's say S, S rank. I like it a lot. It tastes pretty good. Okay. Next up we have XXX. Oh, some of you younger viewers may need to, you know, cover your eyes. Um, acai blueberry pomegranate. Um, the description says, we're still not sure if it's pronounced acai or acai, but we're positive it's amazingly loaded with three key antioxidants, selenium, vitamin A, and vitamin C to help you through your day. Okay. By the way, these are not refrigerated, but they're still like, they're not like room temperature. It's not gross. They're, I don't know, something about these. Okay. Okay. A little more tart. <clears throat> a little more tart than the previous. Um, it's good. I like it. Um, but I actually kind of like this previous one better. Um, yeah, still sweet, tart, not sour, but just a little tartar. I'll give it an A. Uh, I think I like dragon fruit better. What the hell does a dragon fruit look like? I'm gonna look it up. Oh yeah, oh, these things. I've never had one, but they look really cool. Um, huh. And the inside is really interesting. It looks like, not dice, but kinda, huh, weird. Okay. Um, all right, next up we have Refresh, Tropical Mango. Uh, they say not to sweat the small stuff, but with this level of electrolytes, you should feel empowered to sweat any sized stuff. Not a big mango guy, but let's try it out. It's not bad. Um, it definitely tastes like mango. It's not super strong though. So it's just kind of like a, you know, nice, sweet. This one's a little more on the sour end. Um, does have that sort of like sweet, almost mango is like, and this might sound weird to people, but like sweetie, meaty, like a little, like not savory, but it kind of has a little bit of like funkiness to it. 
This has a little bit of that. Um, I'm going to say, for me personally, this is like a B. But if you like mango, I think you'd like this a lot more. Um, someone's asking in chat, does vitamin water have a distinct taste? Uh, it just it tastes like slightly less sweet juice. Like, there's maybe like a little bit of a vitamin-y bitter tang, but not really. It's pretty, it's pretty sweet. Um, but it definitely tastes more than just like water with juice. It's like a splash of juice. It's like almost in between what it's like it's kind of like um gatorade but i'd say a little sweeter just a little bit someone says isn't vitamin water still really unhealthy i never claimed it was healthy or not i don't care um this is essential orange orange sung to the tune of an 80s toy commercial Zinky, 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 we put it in the drinky. Zinky, 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 alongside vitamin C, helps keep you in sinky. Buy vitamin water. Hooray! Okay. Like, if vitamin water is bad for you, everything, everything is fucking bad for you. Okay. Um, definitely like the most s sour of the, of them, not like super sour, they're all pretty tame. Um, it's like really watered down sour tang, if you've had tang. Um, probably, I don't think it's bad, it's probably my least favorite. I'm gonna say B- minus for this. I'm not, like, it's not bad though. Um, yeah. I don't, uh, I don't hate it, but I think the other ones are better, even the mango one. All right. These next ones are zero sugar. This one is ice, cool blueberry lavender. Rappers are always talking about how much ice they have. Honestly, we're super flattered and glad that we're, that they're taking the time to chill. All the chamomile and i-theanine in their system is definitely a step in the right direction. Ooh. The fuck? So zero sugar doesn't help. Because it has that really weird, chemically, like, fake sweetness. Even then, the taste is weird. It's like... There's some blueberry, I guess, but that lavender and like the combination with the um, the the fake sugar, it's like it's like a soapy, perfumey almost sensation. Just like I just don't think that's a good combination there. Um, and the ingredients: reverse cut osmosis water. Wow. Um, yeah, uh, this is... Let me take one more sip. Oh, that's... Oh, that's disgusting. I don't think... I'm going to say D minus. Uh, it's pretty fucking bad. Okay. And finally... I only have six, that's why I did a stream, because there's just not enough to do a whole video. Um, this is squeezed, zero sugar, lemonade flavored. <laughs> Vitamin A and E, zinc, selenium, and calcium unite. Delicious lemonade flavored drink by day. Crime fighting vitamin and mineral squad by night. It's the superhero movie the world needs right now. Just think of the merchandising opportunities. Okay. You have never heard me swear. Is this the first time you've ever watched me in anything? All right. Mm, ooh. Oh, God. Oof. 
Um, I'm curious what the real version tastes like without zero sugar. I don't think it helps, although it's not like the really nasty chemical of this. That was really bad. This is more like, it's just like really sour, watered down lemonade. Oof. It's the worst lemonade you've ever had. Imagine if, yeah, watered down lemonade and it's just kind of sour and that's it. Uh, it's not, it's not good. This is not as bad as the other one because that one's disgusting. This is still like a, like a D. It's, this is ass. All right, well, that was obviously very quick. These two suck ass. Uh, I'm curious what the other zero sugars are like, but these are the only ones that were available to me because you know in the other videos I'll try zero sugar stuff or and I'll be honest about it because sometimes you know you know for a lot of people they need a zero sugar alternative or anything like that so um you know and I think there was one recently I did the um, Reese's like I thought the zero sugar Reese's were actually okay um they are like uh but those I cannot recommend um these are like low b tier don't really care um if i'm gonna grab a vitamin water out of the ones i had this one is king i like this one a lot this one's pretty good in a pinch um i think that's it though uh i still think overall though even though these technically have the vitamins or whatever i mean which is good flavor wise I might prefer Gatorade or Powerade over this. Um, yeah, I don't... The, the time for these is like... Yeah, I, I wouldn't pick up these like on my own necessarily. They're okay, but if given to me, um, they're not bad. All right. Uh, well, that took, lasted about 12 minutes. So let's uh, let's do some Q&A. I saw one question earlier that I I'll, I'll, I think is an interesting one. Um, can you explain the need for the views on the food videos, but not the board game reviews or your podcast? Just wondering the difference. So, yeah, uh, on the recent food videos, like the Reese's one and the Jelly Belly or whatever the fuck one, this one was, um, I did kind of say, hey, like, these are not getting the views that they need. Um, and then people were like, well, what about your board game reviews? What about your podcast? Those, don't, those get like a fraction of the views. Yeah, but those are that's like what's expected for those videos um so like for board game reviews for example you know i do those because i'm very passionate about board games it's my biggest hobby uh, i know board games are not going to bring a uh, board game review is not going to bring in hundreds of thousands of views sometimes they do it's funny like randomly if it's like a licensed property like tetris or rick and morty or something that or something like that then or like, like there's like a orbs randomly there's a laser chess one that got like hundreds of thousands of views but on the average um the board game reviews are gonna get about a certain number more popular games might do a little better but they're almost never gonna break 100k uh unless it's a really notable game or, or a clickbaity and not not a clickbaity on my part but like they go oh pickle rick i want to click on pickle rick so they'll click pickle rick right um so for those, you know, uh, I'm not doing those because I know they're going to do well. I'm doing them because for me, I enjoy making those videos. Uh, I like talking about board games. I like exploring board games, introducing people to the, to the hobby. Uh, it's very fun for me. Um, so that's, it's just, you know, and it's funny. Uh, there was a comment not that long ago where, like, like, because for the longest time, people used to complain about the board game reviews. Like, oh, fucking, do skits, do skits. So let's, let me get into that in a second. Uh, be people demanding skits from me. But um, they were like, oh, these board game reviews. Oh, just go back to doing skits. But then I think the board game reviews have been around long enough now, like regularly expected, that I saw a comment on a board game review go, good, at least he's not doing a goofy, like, non-stop goofy covers, and I was like, oh my god, the irony, because for those of you who've been following me for a long time, back in, like, 2014, 
All anybody wanted from me, this was before skits, was goofy, goofy covers. More goofy covers, more goofy covers, more goofy covers. And I was like, if I could go back in time and show past me, wow, someone's complaining about the goofy covers. Uh, and, they're, and they're like, oh, at least he's doing a board game board game review, finally. I was just like, wow. People, basically, YouTube commenters will never be happy about anything, and they're the worst. Um, and then podcasts, same thing. Like For me, the podcast is just something that I enjoy doing. Um, I know that you know hour long vid- like videos with no actual video are not going to do that well. Some of them do okay, you know, if it's a notable guest that people are really interested in, um, then they uh, get, you know, they get a bunch more views. But you know, they're not going to get as many views uh, as the other videos, and that's okay because I like doing it. With the podcast, though, uh, I, I'll, uh, never mind. I won't talk about that now. But for now, there it's it's gonna continue because I enjoy doing them. Um, but uh, so the food videos, you know, uh, the food videos normally do really well. Uh, I mean, if if we're talking about like the the best, the the one of the highest ones. Uh, let me look up, pull up the list of the food videos. Um, so this is an extreme, obviously, but you know, and it's been over time. You know, the Lunchables won 4.2 million views, right? But even even if we tr- look at one that's like you know not like top top of the line, like um, I don't know, like Yo Play Yogurts, you know, that was a couple months ago. It was about 240 thousand views now. Like that's that's not bad. Um, so. Uh, yeah, like, that's usually what to expect. Um, thank you for your donation, Saigon S. Uh, so that's why I'm like, hey, guys, like, if you want these to stick around, like, I like doing them, but, you know, it involves, like, I have to buy all the food, you know, they take, you know, and... Blah, 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 blah. Like, I don't get sent... A lot of people think I get sent these things. It's like, no, no company will ever send me these. Uh, the only exception was um, Japan Crate sent me the Pocky because I asked them. But it's not like Pocky themselves sent me Pocky, you know? Because no company's going to gonna ever agree to my terms, which is I should be able to say whatever I want about the food. Like, if I don't like the food, I'm going to shit on it, right? Um, so, you know... Because of that, uh, and also just general how YouTube has been, kind of, I'll be honest, it's 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 you know I'm getting burned out. Um, it's just the algorithm. Every, all YouTubers complain about the algorithm, but it's true. Like, uh, you know, it it it's fickle. Uh, so you get so many comments of like, oh, I missed this one. It wasn't in my subs, or or it's it wasn't on my homepage. And like, check your sub page. And they're like, oh, okay. Or even they'll check their sub page and it's not there. Like, uh, it's uh, it's frustrating. So, you know, for me, I've been fortunate enough that my dream has always been voice acting. Uh, I've been very, very fortunate that uh, that has been that has taken up a lot of my a lot more of my time lately. So I have less time for YouTube, um, and that's not a bad thing. Um, but I kind of need to prioritize. If I'm, if I'm going to have less time for YouTube, I have to prioritize what is going to continue. And if if I if I notice that you know views are going to get are getting lower and lower and lower, um, then eventually you know I just don't want to get to a point where it's just like scraping the you know bottom of the barrel, you know. Whereas with board game reviews and the podcasts, especially board game reviews, they've been consistent this whole time. Sometimes they jump up, um, but they've been consistent. And that's fine for what they are. So yeah, different types of videos um, have different expectations involved with them. Um, And then people go, well, just, uh, I hate these. Do skits, do skits. I'm so fucking tired of people asking for that. I do do skits every now and then. 
Um, but obviously, there was a period of time, a couple of years ago, where I was really into doing them. Uh, and then I got burnt out. I got burnt out. Um, it's still the most, you know, people go, good discussions go back to being funny and being, and it's like, I have never once said it is my life goal to be your personal funny man skit maker. Uh, my YouTube channel is about me making stuff that I enjoy making. That's always been the rule. If it stops being fun, I'm going to quit. Um, and so uh, I don't pay attention to them, but they're still annoying. Like I'll never, ever put out something just because, oh, uh, the, the people are like demanding I do it. If anything, so for those of you out there who are like every day you're commenting on non-skits, who make skits, make skits, you're doing the exact opposite of what you need to be doing. Because every time I see one of those, I want to do skits even less. Um, like, for me, if I make a skit, it's uh, when I organically am actually, like, I've got an idea and I think it'll be funny and I want to make it right now. That was what it felt like back then, you know, making those skits. Uh, and now it doesn't feel that way at all. Uh, unless I make one on my own. Like, if you see me make one on Twitter, uh, and I post on YouTube, that's because I genuinely was like, I want to make this. I think it'll be funny. Um, if I were to listen to commenters and just make skits, make skits, make skits, uh, I would have quit YouTube years ago because I would have been miserable because I didn't want to do it. Um, so again, how this channel will always work, well, not Twitch, but I'm talking about YouTube, is that uh, if I enjoy, I'm going to make videos I enjoy, and once I don't enjoy it anymore, bye bye, you know, let's like, goodbye YouTube, because I'm not gonna do. I'm the type of person where I'm not gonna do shit uh, if I don't enjoy it. I it, there's no point. Um, but yeah, so that that's that go that's me going into why I was saying, hey, these kind of these kind of need more views. Um, because, you know, not only do they cost money to make, they also are take a little longer edit-wise. Like, I, I have an editor that I pay, uh, you know, so I, there are things that I kind of have to consider, you know. Uh, like, beforehand, if it was just, when it was just me, it didn't matter as much. But now that I have, you know, technically someone that works for me, uh, then, you know... You, you have to, I have to be conscious of that anyway. Um, okay. When you do a new voice, is it constant trial and playback? Or do you, like a new voice for what? Like a role? Uh, well, normal, us, well, usually either A, you auditioned and they liked it and you just do what you auditioned with. Or B, if it's something you're just going in fresh, um, you usually, or at least what I do, I just give them my gut take, like, hey, let me just, this is what I think it sounds like, and I always tell them, you can just tweak it from here, like, you can maybe age it up, or, you know, sometimes I'll be like, hey, can you, like, what if they sounded, like, a little younger, or if they sounded a little deeper, you know, then we just kind of tweak it from there. Um, let's see. Any plan of doing the later Phoenix Wright games with Jay on ProZD Plays Games? For those of you who don't know, I have a Let's Play channel, ProZD Plays Games. Go check it out. It's fun. On YouTube. Um, or P Professor Layton, uh, yeah, any of those are a possibility. Yeah, I'd, I'd be interested. Um, let's see. So, I get so many fucking questions about the headphones. I don't give a shit about the headphones. Please. Stop asking me about the goddamn headphones. Every time people, you know, comment with it, I ignore it every time. These are just some cheap ass headphones. I'm a cheap guy, you know. I've always been that way. I was raised in a way, uh, and I'm not. I'm not. I'm not even like mad at you. Like it's fine, but it's just I get so many, 
so many comments about him. Like, it doesn't matter. Like, I just, uh, I, you know, I'm a, I've always been kind of frugal, you know. Uh, my, my, I grew up in a family with where we didn't have a lot of money. Um, I don't need super expensive headphones. Like, I'll listen. I'll, I'll, I'll shell out the money for something that, like, if I really care about it. But with these, I, I'm just like, I just need them to work. Um, I'm also very picky. Uh, but anyway, whatever. I'm the picky, like, I just have been wearing them for so long. I'm the type of guy where I'm like, I, I've been wearing these forever. Like, I'm just used to them. I just get, I'm that kind of person. Um, let's see. What made you choose to put your hair like this? I just um, dry my hair and see what happens. <laughs> I don't do anything like this. It just does this. Eventually, it'll settle down to something else. But, I yeah. Um, let's see. I also, going back to the headphones, I also think it's just my vibe to just look like I'm a YouTube video from 2012. Um, do you ever plan on doing a video on tabletop RPGs? Uh, no, I don't really play them. I'm not a D&D guy. I've tried it a couple times. I, I don't get it. I'd much rather play a board game. My wife loves them, though. I uh, loves D&D. Um, let's see. Do you have any opinions on the Dot Hack franchise? Uh, I have never um, played Dot Hack. I have no opinion. Can you tell me the titles you have on your manga shelves? I have a YouTube video going going through those. Um, I think it's in my manga collection. Have you seen Arcane? I have not. Uh, if you are invited to Trash Chase, would you accept? Yes. Have you seen Bell? I have not. Uh, the room tour is not this room. That was by, back in my old place. Um, but the manga collection one, I think that one's pretty, it's pretty current. There might be some, a couple new titles on there, but... Um, Preferred game genre, uh, RPGs usually, but for me it's also games with l big lists of collect like things to do, like Yakuza. I'm playing Yakuza Kiwami Two right now. I love it. Have you played Red Dead Redemption? <clears throat> I played a little bit of it a long time ago, but I didn't finish it. Uh, I might, like, try the second one or something. Have you thought about opening a Discord server? I don't have time for that. Uh, did you play Psychonauts, either of Psychonauts? Uh, I have played the first one, but I have not played two. If you were kind of bread, what kind would you be? I don't know, sourdough. Do you play MMORPGs? I do not. Ugh. Do you have a specific genre of game you prefer to voice in? I'd like to voice in all of them. I have no specific genre. I just want to work. Um, do you like playing poker? I actually do like playing poker. Although my preferred poker is actually seven card stud. I know the go everyone's go to is uh Texas Hold'em, but uh I would love to play poker with people. 
I mean, maybe not voice actors because voice actors are annoying. <laughs> uh, well, not all of them. Um, but maybe for charity, that could be kind of fun. Um, how do you pick which shirt? But in terms of poker in general, uh, I do like poker. I haven't, I haven't played in a long time. My family and I used to play it all the time, but since then I've um, shown them other board games and stuff, and we've kind of fallen down uh, that rabbit hole. Um, how do you pick which shirt you wear for a vid? It's just whatever shirt I pick that day. Uh, yeah. For someone looking to get into anything Pokemon, any suggestions? Um, I mean, if you're watching Indigo League, I think that's a great start. Um, I think I don't really know much about the anime beyond like the original. In terms of games, I mean, honestly, you know, Sword and Shield is, you know, it's on Switch. It's on the re current consoles. I think it's very, f like, friendly towards newcomers. Yeah, I mean, just play that, and if you like it, go back and try the other ones. Um, would you do, I'm um, actually, another one. Yeah, what did I like about it? I liked the competition. Uh, do you or Anne-Marie cook? I do not. Uh, Anne-Marie does. I'm just bad. Um, favorite dish? Hmm, just a lot of good stuff. Um... Yeah, I don't know. One thing she does really well, and it sounds funny, but her scrambled eggs, she puts like cream cheese in it. It's really good. Um, so I requested you for Rhode Island Comic Con. Do you know if these kinds of requests actually work? There's no guarantee, but it's better than nothing. Like, the, what'll get a con's attention to invite me is if there's a demand. So if just one person does it, maybe not. But if you get, you know, if they get consistent, hey, we would like to see this person, uh, then yeah. So I'd say just anyway, if you want me at a con near you, you just have to tell them you're interested. Um, has there ever been a board game you opened up and just said no? Not a. I've seen rule books. There have been I don't know one specifically, but there are a lot of really bad rule books. Um, were you ever into Vocaloid? I've never been into Vocaloid. Um, did you end up getting into chess? I did not. Have you thought about doing bigger in-person charity events when COVID's over? Uh, uh, probably not. Uh, I feel like the ones on Twitch are fine. Uh, also, co when COVID's over, <laughs> we'll see. I would love that, but I, uh, the state of this country, I don't see it happening anytime soon. Um... Do you favor open world games or traditional RPGs? Traditional. Uh, Anime Crimes Division. Did I help write, create any of it? Nope. Just acted. Every now and then I did a little ad-libbing, but no. I, I did not write it. Do you, uh, do you like horror movies or games? Uh, I like horror movies. I'm not, I'm not like a diehard fan, but I enjoy a, any movie if it's good. I haven't played a lot of horror games. Um, are you watching One Piece on Toonami now that it's back? Uh, I don't have Toonami. Uh, I don't have cable. How are the cats doing? They're good. How old is Effie? I always forget. I think she's like six or seven. How much have you ever been involved in writing slash creating something as opposed to just acting? I'd say the majority of the stuff I've been in is acting. The most I've written is uh, for God of War uh, Ragnarok for my character. I can't talk about it, um, but yes, I was directly involved in writing and developing the character. Uh, do you consider yourself a happy person? In general... Yeah, uh, if I have my mind off of the internet. <laughs> Did you ever go through a phase in high school like goth, preppy, etc.? No, I've always just been a big old nerd. This whole thing's a phase. Um, do you read any webtoons or Korean manhwa? No, although I'm not, not to say I'm not interested. Um, when you voice act, do you go through any sort of prep to get you into the headspace to come up with a fitting voice? Uh, no. I usually, I mean, for, 
for I usually just go with my gut. Um, I know, like for auditions, for example, I know a lot of people, and all all respect to them, you know, they take a long time. They even take like weeks to think about it. For me, I get an audition. I read through it maybe once or twice. Look at the description of the voice or the character, and I get it done in less than half an hour. That's I just go. You know what? Give them my give them my gut gut take, uh, and then just send it, and then forget about it. Um. Hmm. Do you have an anime figure that you missed getting when it came out and wished you had? Hmm. I think I got everything later. Nothing comes to mind, but that's a pretty good question. If you were offered a voice in an old school Lego game where they just mumbled, would you? Am I getting paid a good amount or like the right amount? Then yes. Um. Have you ever thought of making a One Piece trivia game like your Pokemon one? I have thought about it. That's not an impossibility. Who knows? Um, regarding becoming an actor, how much do you feel is hard work and resume stuff versus right place, right time? I'd say... Uh, becoming Just becoming an actor, it involves a lot of hard work. Um, I'd say it's like... 90% hard work until the 10% oh we you're, okay you're at a point now where we can just know who you are it's a huge it's a huge obstacle um wait what Pokemon trivia game uh well this well not for you guys watching on YouTube later but today uh Friday, I'm doing a... I guess I didn't technically announce this yet, so I'm not, I'll announce it here. Pokemon Trivia. I've been, I've been doing Pokemon Trivia games every now and then for charity. There's going to be one this Friday at... What time is it again? 6.30 p.m. Pacific Time. Um, so if you want to watch one, be there. They are a lot, but they are fun. Um... I will also say this Saturday, uh, I'm doing a 24-hour stream of board games with friends, 9 a.m. to 9 a.m. starting on Saturday at Pacific Time. Uh, let's see. Is there a mecca for voice acting? I'd still say Los Angeles primarily. Are, the Pokemon trivia are based on different gens, so this upcoming one will be the Sinnoh-themed one. What part of your career do you most look forward to, including acting and content creation? All the acting, none of the content creation. Um, let's see. Favorite memory. Wow. Hmm. I mean, I don't know. I've got a lot of good times, but some of the best ones have been just like spending time with family uh, and also uh, whenever I get to travel somewhere with friends or, or just my wife and it's like a really memorable trip. Those have been some of my fondest memories. Um, you think you're interested in playing Japanese Mahjong? Um... Uh, I couldn't do it without the Yakuza guide, so no. But I think it's fun, but I'm not good at it. Did you ever get burnt out from voice acting in your daily Tumblr posts? Oh, yeah. All the time. Because there was no guarantee of anything coming from it. Uh, Anne Marie can account, because, you know, we were, you know, she's been, we've known, we've been dating slash married for, God, forever. You know, like, now, how long now? 12 years? Um, oh yeah, there were plenty of nights where I would just be like lying in bed and be like to her like, is there any point to any of this? Like, like is this ever going to happen? Am I ever going to do voice acting? I don't know. 
Uh, so, um, yeah, I, there were so many times I was like, what am I doing? It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. Am I wasting my time? But I always tell people this, it's about discipline, you know, uh, in the case with me and doing the daily, like doing it once a day, that to me was like, once you start doing this, you have to keep doing it, uh, or else there's no progress that's going to be made. Right. Uh, so it was like, I have to, you know, I just felt that in my bones of like, I have to keep practicing. I have to keep posting this because if I stop and I go, Oh, I'm going to give up, then I'll never make it. And that was true. I don't think I would be doing what I'm doing now if I had stopped. I, I doing it for four years, four or five years straight, um, before finally kind of getting like, you know, regular roles. Cause I would say my, I started working regularly in voiceover maybe five years ago, four or five years ago. Um, Oh God, yeah, five years, God, 2022, Jesus. Um, but before then, there was, you know, there was no guarantee, so, yeah. Um, let's see. Have you played D&D in live stream? No. Uh, did you go to MSU? I did. Are you from the area? I used to live there, not anymore. Um, favorite video I made with my mom, probably the one where me and her and my dad did Animal Crossing characters. Um, you voice over anime? Yep. What media platforms do you watch? Uh, I, you know, like Netflix, the anime ones. I don't know, just whatever I feel like watching at the time. I don't really like, I'm not like loyal to one particular platform, but we have a couple of them. Um, how did Jay and I meet? Well, that's an interesting story, I guess. Go check our Let's Play channel or our podcast episodes. Um, but what the fuck was that? Uh, that is that is not what the hell. That was that because of extra life. I did not set that up. Maybe I did. That was horrifying. Um, hold on, I want to know what the fuck that was. Yeah! <laughs> uh, Cause it should just be the um, the one up sound. Whatever. Yeah, I never set that up. Um, do you think you and Amory will ever revisit your Pokemon playthrough? Did we do a Pokemon playthrough? When did we do a Pokemon playthrough? Um, okay, how did me and Jay meet? Um, I met him through a board game night with a mutual friend, although... He had technically met me a couple times before, and I didn't know, but that's his story to tell. And he's told the story on the podcast, I think. Um, if someone you casually meet asks you to demonstrate your voice acting on the spot, what do you do? I try not to let it get to that point. I if someone asks me if someone, if I casually meet someone, I don't go, "Hey, I'm a voice actor." I don't bring up that information unless they ask me what I do. And then if they ask me to do it. I don't know. I might just be like, no, like pay me. <laughs> What's the best way you unwind from the day? Depends on the day. 
Um, during the week, I do have, like, regular things I do. Like, there's, like, anime night or, like, movie night. Um, board games I'll play. Uh, lately, I've been playing a lot of Yakuza Kiwami 2. Um, you know, a bunch of different things. It's not voice actor shame or know your place peasant. It's more like, hey, I'm not your puppet. So like, hey, voice act for me. It's like, no, like, I don't, if you tell me you're like a programmer, I go, I don't go, hey, okay, program something right now. Like, it's just kind of a, it really gives off the impression of like, well, like, dance for me, puppet. Like, no, like, pay me. It's my job. Um, any trips to Japan planned? Uh, I would love to, but not. Currently, thanks world. Uh, how did you come up with Cat Viper's voice? Uh, well, I was familiar with the Japanese performance, so I listened to it um, and just kind of came up with what I thought was like a good equivalent in English, um, keeping the spirit of the character like. I'm not necessarily like I gotta sound exactly like sound exactly like the Japanese, but if I can re retain the spirit of the of the performance and the character, so uh, yeah, for that one I just listened back to how he sounded, how he did it, and went okay. Let me give you my take, and I think it turned out really well. I was very happy with it. Um, but yeah, it's one of those performances where you're listening to the original Japanese. Uh, that's usually how you go about it. Um, did you ever feel embarrassed starting out voice acting or weird? Not embarrassed or weird. Maybe nervous? Nervous, sure. Uh, but that's definitely gone away. Um, why did we get married? Uh, because we wanted to. Uh, there's also, you know, legal benefits of marriage. Um, when what like 2016 i think 2015 <laughs> i don't remember i think 2016 um other than cigarettes what food or drink affect one's voice um in a negative way or oh positive way like i know a lot of actors go, you know, green apples, get rid of clicks. I've never done it. I've never needed to. Um, milk can make you kind of, not like congested, but a little like thicker. It's not great to drink a bunch of milk beforehand. Um, I always forget the name of it. What is it? It's um. Ninjun Paper Koam, the throat syrup is really good if you're having kind of a sore throat. Um, honey, it's great. Tea, you know, it's good. I think spicy stuff isn't great, but, you know. How did you react hearing your voice for the first time, like, myself? Like, from, from, a, as a child? I, <laughs> I don't know. Um... How did you get into voice acting initially? I, uh, oh boy. I, like how, like into the industry? Um, you know, I started a Tumblr, uh, did, did voice acting posts once a day. That led to auditioning for indie stuff, booking indie stuff, and then it's all just dominoes from there. Have you ever grown your hair long? Like, super long? No, but it's been pretty fucking long. You can see in some of the YouTube videos. Uh, what was the first thing that got you liking Kumail Nanjiani? Is there a role or stand-up show you particularly enjoy? Um, he's He was great in Portlandia. I think that was the first thing I saw him in, where I was like, this guy's really funny. His stand-up is really good, too. Used to also really like his. He had a video game podcast with uh, his wife, Indoor Kid, that I enjoyed.
Any more questions? Your voice is usually different from what you think it is when you hear from outside. Oh. Oh, so you mean like in a recording? Well, I mean, as a kid, I didn't like how he sounded. Now I love how I sound. Um, how tall am I? Five foot seven. Uh, let's see. Any currently airing anime you'd love to voice act for? All of them. Did you always think you're going to grow up and be a voice actor? No. Uh, I, I was interested in, in it starting with high school, but I, I didn't think I could do it. I didn't, or I didn't think I'd ever make it. I was very doubtful, but I was like, I gotta try. Um, what was my fallback plan? I didn't have one. Would you ever do more of the anime song guessing games? Uh, maybe, but they get copyright flagged, so it's really annoying. Are there any game franchises you wish you could start fresh with? I don't have that inc like inclination because I'm always about like I want to experience a new next thing. But anything story based like Ace Attorney or Zero Escape, um, stuff like that. Anything, anything where the gameplay is not the primary motivating factor. Professor Layton also, I think, but yeah. Um, you like any non-manga comics? Yeah, but nothing I'm like a huge diehard fan of. How do you feel about Mandu? Uh, I was like, what's Yaki Mandu? But I see Yaki is a Japanese word. I need like Yaki, like Yaki Tori. Uh, so Mandu, uh, I like Mandu a lot. Um, store bought brand. I don't have a particular brand. Thoughts on Marvel movies? They're fun. Yeah. Have you played any Tales of games? I've played Abyss, Symphonia, and Vesperia. Did you ever meet someone and think their voice would be amazing in a cartoon? Um, maybe a couple times, but I'd be more curious to hear how they act versus just how their voice sounds. Yeah, I've never heard it called Yakiban do myself, but it's fine. Um, what's more survivable, zombie outbreak or if every insect slash bug grew 10... I mean, if every insect slash bug grew 10,000 times size, we'd be fucked because there's so many of them. they just crush us. Um, like, we'd just be smothered. Like, I don't think you realize how many bugs there are. Uh, if you could voice any One Piece character, I've already voiced a One Piece character. Do you like Hot Pot and or KBBQ? Yeah, I love both. Um, seen Encanto yet? Yes, I have. Any obscure interests you have we don't already know about? Probably not. I like escape rooms. I like, I'm very passionate about food, like trying different foods, but I think a lot of that has been conveyed through either tweets or YouTube. Any last final questions? Favorite pizza toppings like sausage. What's your opinion on Yu-Gi-Oh? Um, I enjoy Yu-Gi-Oh, but I am very I don't I don't understand all the new meta. Um, favorite sushi fish type mackerel. Uh. Your favorite deck builder, Marvel Legendary. You're held at gunpoint and you must give up one of your senses to live. Okay, so we got sight, hearing, smell, taste, and uh, 
Why am I blanking on this touch? Okay. Uh, hmm. I guess it'd have to be... Since smell and taste are connected, as much as I like food, I think I would get rid of taste. Because I think smell is still important for like survival. Like, oh, I smell something burning. I smell gas. You know, you need that. Um, so like, at least with smell, I could still smell what the food smells like. Um, even if I couldn't taste it. Uh, and then I've always thought this because I knew I, I had a teacher in high school who like couldn't taste anymore. And so he just ate like, you know, lettuce sandwiches. And I was like, you know, not having to worry about what you eat. So you just eat only healthy shit. You know what? It'd be kind of interesting. You could um, really save a lot of money on food and eat really nutrition nutritional nutritiously <laughs> so yeah taste uh even though i love food i i'd have to give that up everything else would affect my interests too much um and yeah i think smell accounts for like a percentage of taste so it wouldn't be completely gone um Let's see, anything else? Someone says taste warns you of dangerous expired food. Yeah, but if I if I don't have taste, I'm not gonna try dangerous food. Like I'm not gonna I'm just gonna stick to like like if I had no taste. I would just eat the same thing every day and it'd just be like the like the most perfectly healthy, like balanced meal just every day. There'd be no reason not to. Like and I, it would just be like pure sustenance, no enjoyment. Just gum bum gum, you know. Uh where did the name Prozid come from? That's a secret. Um Favorite fast food chain, steak and shake. You play league, no. Most controversial opinion on anime? I don't know. There's a bunch of shows I don't like. I'm not big on Fooly Cooly. But I think it's pretty okay. I did not like what I saw of... Actually, yeah, I don't need to list off all the things I don't like. I think among my friends, the fact that I wasn't like enraptured with Fooly Cooly was a pretty controversial opinion. Um, do you play Genshin Impact? No. What is the first anime you remember watching? Pokemon. Um, board game recommendations for someone getting back into games after a few years of not playing. Um, I don't know what's the last, like how long it's been, like or what you've played, but probably just start with something, some basic stuff like, you know, the Azuls are very solid. Um, I feel like, uh, yeah, you don't need to play stuff super heavy. Um, and just, uh, yeah, but it, re it really depends on what games you enjoyed. Um, is there any way to donate to me or to charity? To charity, well, not for YouTube, but there's Tiltify panels down there for Extra Life and um what do you call it uh stand up to cancer um if you want to donate to me uh the most direct way would i don't know plus sub subbing on patreon not patreon on uh twitch i guess but you don't have to unless you want i mean if you guys want to but no no obligation um well thank you very much ali madman uh yeah i like that best pokemon anime i still love the original opinion on fan service and media not a fan um 
which scenario is more survivable treading a swamp surrounded by gators or being lost in the jungle surrounded by tigers I think they're both pretty bad uh, I think gators would fuck you me up more because I'm trying to go through swamp um, have you done virtual escape rooms no but that's interesting thoughts on Oda's art style at the start of One Piece versus after there are benefits to both I do miss aspects of his art style but some of the new stuff is pretty gorgeous to look at. Thank you for your sub, Xander Lander. Um, it's earthy. Best advice I ever received was if you really feel like you love something, you just got to go for it, like, passion-wise. Like, like, if you have a goal, you know, go for it. Worst case scenario, you you failed, but you know you didn't. But you, and you know you at least tried. Um... My mom is blind. Do you have any games we can include her in? Oh, that's a very interesting question. I don't know offhand. Does anybody have any um, board or card game suggestions for um, for blind people? Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything uh, that I know of. Um, one that this is just like this could kind of work. Um, is uh not not I'm not saying this is the best answer, but wavelength would be interesting because you could do something because if you don't if you don't know wavelength, it's a dial, um, so uh like I guess you could maybe like help them like by like showing them with their hand like where it is on the scale like let's say if they're the one who has to come up with something, all they would need to know is that left is this right is this and they got to give a clue that's somewhere here. If you just move their hand, because um, then it's just a scale. Um, that or uh, if they're you know part of the group trying to guess something, you could just also show them. Oh, the dial is like right here ish. I think that I feel like that's one that could like kind of work. Um, Mancala, but I feel like that'd be involve a lot of touching. Um, Let's see. Do you like legacy games? I love legacy games. Um, yeah, this 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 question is really interesting. I'm trying to think if there's any other like uh, other ones. Like, unfortunately, I'm kind of blanking, but it's an interesting question. But at least wavelength, because even that one, like, I can play that one over stream. You don't even need that like on in person. I I played it first with the thing on stream um yeah and i'm I'm, I, I'm sure there are like cool like you know custom-made accessories and stuff but i haven't obviously I, i'm not very knowledgeable about it but have you ever had any other pets besides cats no um let's see trivia games could work i'm like could wits and wagers work yeah wits and wagers could probably work you just have to read the questions out loud they just have to either write down or communicate what their answer is um and just and then you just ask them where to put the thing that's another one that could kind of work um yeah all right uh i think that'll be it for this one uh Thank you all for watching. Um, I appreciate it. Uh, I'm going to end the recording for YouTube 